Have you ever heard of the phrase succulent smuggling? Let me break it down for you. Now, over the last handful of years, the plant market has exploded, especially as millennials are getting a little bit older and delaying having kids. And because they're delaying having kids, they're getting more pets and they're buying more plants. Now, because of this sort of explosion in demand, it really happened during COVID when a lot of people were looking for some kind of thing to take care of. We as humans need, you know, some kind of a biological uh, need to take care of something. And that's where the plant market really exploded leading to succulent smuggling. Now, because of the insane demand of all of these different growers, they are finding it very difficult to keep in stock the trendy plants that you see on social media. And so what happens and what was documented in this documentary Plant Heist about a year ago is this growing issue that's happening over on the West Coast, specifically in California. Now this plant here is called the Dudleya, and obviously it's really pretty, but it's also uh, really in high demand, especially in East Asian countries. And so what's happening is that the demand is so high that travelers are coming over, they're coming to the state of California, they're renting a car, and they are driving down the state in order to find this plant that grows on the mountainsides, and they're filling up backpacks, and then they are taking those plants and they are shipping them back over to several different countries over in East Asia, Croatia, um, some other countries included. But because of the nature of succulents, they don't need a lot of sunlight, they don't need a lot of water, they make it super ideal for plant smuggling and that's what's happening with a lot of these different deadly plants. Here's an image from the documentary that shows, you know, somebody actually getting caught by one of the 400 game wardens that are around the state of California, but there's only 400 and that's a lot of area to comb through. So the game wardens really rely on tips coming from the public in order to find these plant smugglers because it's rising in value. Some of these plant markets have exploded into multi-million dollar markets just one of these plants now you're seeing several plants in this photo but just one of these can go for as much as seven hundred dollars now because of the release of this documentary the deadliest specific smuggling has actually gone downhill but the un says that this is a global issue and anywhere from you know 300 to 500 plants can be found online for sale right now on Amazon, eBay, and all of these different websites. So it's really, really important to, if you're going to be buying plants online, to first find out if it fits within the biodiversity of the, of the area of the country where you're actually going to be growing this plant and caring for it. I thought this was a really fascinating look into the overall just sort of plant supply chain. So if you want to see more from this, go, just go to YouTube and search for Plant Heist.